Do you want to increase your level of privacy when surfing the net? Do you want to prevent your ISP from tracking where you go? Well, stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to do this with your PC or Mac. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to safely surf the net on your computer without having to use a conventional VPN. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon Flash Briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithronnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this episode, there are affiliate links available in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. Now, here's what we're going to be talking about this time. We're going to be dealing with how to safely surf the net in your with your PC. We're going to talk about the problem of DNS lookups because that's where this really kind of starts. Then I'm going to show you how to change this in your web browser and we'll test it. And then we'll actually use Cloudflare's 1.1.1 client to make this even easier so you protect more than just your web browser traffic. So let's get started. Now with internet privacy being a bigger thing every day and really you have to take some basic precautions you can always implement one more thing and the problem is starts with the dns lookups think of the analogy of the postcard versus the envelope when you send something to somebody in an envelope it's reasonably safe from prying eyes it's not going to be there for the whole world to read now if you send a postcard everything you write is for everybody to see and if it's a dns lookup that means your isp can sit there and watch where you're going sell that data to other companies which is what some of them do so what we're going to do is set up something called doh or if you watch that adult cartoon it's going no oh, it's basically DNS over HTTPS, you're basically taking that DNS letter or traffic, whoever you want to talk about, and putting it inside an envelope or an HTTPS packet. And that way it's secure from where it leaves you to where it hits Cloudflare's servers, or if you're using another DOH compatible system. Let's go ahead and start with the web browser side of things. Now, first we're gonna start with configuring your web browser because this may be all you need. If you do nothing but use your web browser and you're not using any applications to go over the internet, then we'll have this done for you real quick. So we're on version 88 of Chrome, now, my current provider, uh, and I'm pointing, well, to my own internal DNS, which then resolves out, I believe I'm pointing to, to Google. If we go over here to Cloudflare's help page, it's 1.1.1.1 forward slash help. And we'll refresh this. Okay, see, I'm not connecting to them for DNS. I'm not using DNS over HTTPS or anything else. I'm basically, my DNS traffic is going to the outside world. So what we do is we go down here and select custom or actually we select with now by default it goes custom I and mean, you could enter the fully qualified domain name but there's an easier way so what we'll do is we'll go down here we will select the with option and we have a whole drop down box so we'll just select cloudfare 1.1.1.1 and click off of that box otherwise the settings do not take found out the hard way go over here And now we are using DNS over HTTPS and we're connected to Cloudflare. Now, just to show you that this actually did work, we'll go up here with current provider and we'll click off that and we'll refresh. See, now we, we've lost the DNS over HTTPS. So if we go back down here and select with, and we'll make sure we go with Cloudflare then we go back over here we'll refresh and there you go so really that is a very straightforward way of doing it especially if you're doing only web traffic and other providers will probably be offering this over time but this gets you up and running today now this only covers web browser traffic if you're using something like thunderbird or some sort of email client or anything that talks to the internet those dns queries are not going to be protected it's only things coming through the web browser. When you're setting up that new account for the smart home cloud service or device, please get a copy of my smart home device account checklist you see here on the screen. This will help make sure that everything gets written down that you entered to get that account created. 
The form will also serve as a backup copy when you get this entered into your password manager app. And if you're not already using a password manager app, please get one now and get started. You will be subscribed to my email list in exchange for the checklist. I won't share, rent, or sell your information to anyone. Now, to protect your computer, whether it's a Mac or Windows, you can go to Cloudflare's website and it will point you to the client you need to use. So let's shift over here and then you can see if you go to the 1.1.1.1 page, it will show you the different clients involved. So I've already got the Windows piece downloaded. So we'll go up here and then we'll click on the MSI file. Now, this is fine if you're doing this on your personal computer. If it's one for work, want to make sure that, that they're okay with you making this kind of direct change. So we'll be ready here in just a second. Okay. Now, if we will go over here to Cloudflare Warp, we'll accept, you know, they're going to get some information out of this too. Registering. Okay. So now there are two options if we go with the 1.1.1.1 that protects just your dns traffic that may be all you're, you're interested in so in this case once you've got the program installed you just click on connected and then we'll go back over here well first we need to turn it off because you need to see that the connection is actually now unprotected again all right so there we're, we're unprotected again so we'll go back down here okay there we go i had to find the right icon on the desktop so now it's just a matter of click the button then we will refresh we've got all that protection didn't have to touch the web browser but now everything on the computer is protected now something to keep in mind now when you've got cloudflare turned off it's going to go dark and that's a, a, something i had not caught before now, if you go to the settings, you will see the 1.1.1.1 and then the same thing with Warp. Now, where Warp comes into the picture, that is a VPN. And, and I did say before that this, you know, we would I would show you how to do this without a conventional VPN. Conventional VPNs have typically been used by gamers and those who want to get to content that is geographically restricted. Well, with Cloudflare, you can't choose where you're connecting. So we'll go down here and we'll say with warp, then we will click and it says your internet is private. So we'll refresh here and it should. Ah, now we're doing, okay, so I see it shifted. It went from DNS over HTTPS, which is what we were doing with the web browser. And then it changed to using DNS of warp. Either way, you're still protected. Your browsing traffic is now totally isolated from anybody to be able to see. I'm not going to say it's foolproof, but the amount of work it's going to take is going to be significant. You have to have server certificates and a whole bunch of things. Now, if you notice, the AS name did change. It's now showing Cloudflare. So it thinks we're directly connected into Cloudflare's network. If you use this heavily, I did see references to a subscription program or a subscription offering rather that you can use. So far, I've not seen the problem. And hopefully over time, more and more ISPs will be offering this as a, a standard item. So this shows you several ways to keep your DNS traffic out of prying eyes and make things a little bit safer. If you're watching this on YouTube, you will see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.